I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Today what I got in store is I'm gonna open up another Magic the Gathering product. This is a new one, I've never opened this up before, so I'm not really sure what it's about, but I wanna check it out and see what it's really all about. This is a Magic the Gathering Booster Battle Pack two-player game. Uh, interesting, uh, this was from a big box store, this was from a Target. It says it includes two boosters, ages 13 plus. I don't think that they sell these at your local game store. I could be wrong though. I just doubt this probably isn't a product really for them. Uh, Magic the Gathering, Wizard of the Coast. Uh, battle a friend, recruit a friend and embark on a journey to the untamed jungles of Ixalan, which uh, have long hidden a covert secret. Uh, Orska, the city of gold. Sounds like uh, that one movie, I can't think of it where they look for a city of gold. Uh, choose one of the included decks, customize it with your additional cards from booster packs and battle your friends, all within minutes of opening the box. So it looks like this promotes, uh, it has two decks inside with some booster packs and you're supposed to be able to just grab a friend and it says recruit, so it tries to get someone new into the game. That's what I'm guessing. They kind of want it for entry level players. Be like, all right, let's, uh, you want to learn this game with me? Come on and play it. Uh, and you sit down and each pick a deck, it looks like inside of it. So I think there's two decks in here. They must be quite small. And uh, some booster packs. It says it includes two. And uh, I guess you, the decks are pretty, I guess, uh, easy to play with. We'll have to go through them and see what they're about. They must have easy mechanics. And uh, the booster packs are just to add into it to kind of give you a feel of like drafting, I guess, to kind of get you into that format. This box has everything you need to start a two player game uh, right away. Uh, two single color 30 card magic deck. So they're only single color. So I'm guessing there's two colors in it. Unless they are the same color, should be kind of interesting. They should probably mix it up and have two different colors. Two Ixalan 15 card booster packs. So I guess you each get one of the decks, you each get a booster pack. And a magic uh, quick reference card. So it does come with one of those little rule books. I wish it did come with like two spin down dice or something like that. But then again, uh, can't be stingy. And this product costs, I believe, $11.99. And uh, yeah, just keep seeing them. I never bothered to really open them up, probably because I don't have that much use for like a, a, the decks or anything like that in here. But I want to open up and kind of review it and go over it with you all in case you are interested in this. It's probably a good product if you want to teach a friend how to play Magic or something like that with some pre-constructed decks. I'm sure the rule book it has is just the same little tiny rule book you get with like a fat pack, that little like cardboard little pamphlet. But I'm going to open it up and we'll see. Wow, it's actually quite tough. Alrighty, let's see what it looks like in here. Looks like it's just pretty much a sleeve inside of here. Just an empty box. They do a good job with the, the packaging though. Interesting picture. Looks like the squid person from like Davy Jones Locker or Medusa sort of, except they're snake tails and heads instead of heads. So right off the bat, it says how to play. Step one, unwrap the decks and decide which player gets which deck. Uh, so I have the power. <laughs> Step two, each player opens a booster pack and chooses up to five cards. Uh, of their deck's color and adds in their deck shuffle and play so you only need to pick five cards up to five cards of that deck's color shuffling and play and it looks like there's perforated rips here let's just go ahead and open it we got the two Ixlon booster packs and uh, let's see what kind of decks they look like oh uh, they look like they are the starter decks or something like that I think the ones that they give away for free possibly in the stores I kind of hope not I hope they're different I don't know their deck list, but I'm curious and I kind of want to go check it out after this video. First of all, let's just go open these. Looks like uh, since they are single colored, this one is the blue deck. Looks like you got a rare Sphinx of Magose, Magosai. Some crazy Sphinx creature for 3 and 3 blue. Creature Sphinx with flying. The creature can't be blocked except by creature with flying and reach. It's a 6-6. Six, six. has 2 and a blue. Draw a card, then put a 1-1 one, one counter on Sphinx of Magosai. Got one rare. I'm just curious. It looks like M17, Amonkhet. Quite a few different set symbols. You got an uncommon. I'm gonna do a pile of the rares and uncommons just to and commons just to see what it's about. And then the lands as well. I'll throw the lands over here. Looks like Amonkhet lands. I got some M17, it looks like. Air Elemental. This is looks like a very basic, very basic deck. I just kind of want to look through and see what kind of mechanics they also have in this deck. So literally, there's only one rare and two uncommons in this whole thing. 
but I mean you don't need rares and uncommons to learn how to play I just wish that they added a little bit more so you got a rare and then the two uncommons one from Amonkhet I believe Angler Drake 4 and 2 blue creature uh, Drake flying when Angler Drake enters the battlefield and return target creature to its owner's hand it's a 4-4 a four, four, little bit of return an air elemental this guy he's a reprint looks like one of the dementors from Harry Potter 3 and 2 blue flying it's a 4-4 four, four. And then you got the Sphinx of Magosai. And it looks like uh, we have the ability Flying is a definitely theme to this deck. All the rares and uncommons have Flying. Looks like you have some Return Target Creature to the Hand and Draw. Some Drawing Cards. Lots of bunch of card draw. Pretty much. So this uh, draw, 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 draw. Draw some cards. Creature can't be blocked. Can't be blocked. Some card draw. Flying. Okay, so it's pretty much uh, a flying creature deck. There's only a couple creatures that aren't flying, which is these mere folks in this crab, and these are just generic creatures. You got the ancient crab, one and two blue for one five. You got the coral mere folk, one and blue for two and a one. Looks like this mere folk lady's got like crab arms or something like that. Really crazy looking blue fin hair, like a betta fish. Crazy looking storm clouds in the background. She's just rising out of the water like Godzilla. Pretty crazy. So you got some flying creatures, some generic others, uh, some sleep paralysis, uh, enchanted creature, it's a three and a blue, it looks like it locks them down when sleep paralysis enters the battlefield, tap enchanted creature, enchanted creeper doesn't untap during its controller's untap step, so just lock it off being tapped. And I assume these decks will kind of battle each other quite nicely, pretty balanced I would have to say. And then we got a bunch of card draw, return to, uh, target creatures on her hand, draw a card, uh, when he deals combat damage, draw a card. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card, draw two cards, return to our creature to his owner's hand, and draw a card. So a lot of card draw. And then you got two enchantment auras. So we got some enchantments, some sorceries, one instant, quite a f and uh, just one instant, some sorceries. We have flying, nothing too crazy here. Enchant creature, enchant creature, gets plus two, plus zero, and can't be blocked. Looks like this Mirafook lady is either swimming down with a rope, or she's jumping down, kind of like a... Uh, Mission Impossible or something like that. Her hand's out in front of her. It looks like some energy's coming there. I'm not sure if she's creating that or if she's about to hit that. Tricks of the trade. She's about to rob. Can't be blocked. Yeah, it reminds me of Mission Impossible. So it's pretty much a flying deck with a couple other creatures. Really not that many creatures in this deck. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven creatures. Some enchantments. One instant. Some sorceries. So you got one, two, three, four, four enchantments, one, two, oh wait, there's a couple other creatures, I was wrong. Four enchantments, two sorceries, one instant, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine creatures total. So it's an interesting little, small little deck, and just a bunch of basic islands. It's interesting that the sets are different, you got a mixture of M17, I think that's what that is, and Amonkhet. Really, uh, yeah, an Amonkhet. And let's go ahead and check out uh, this other deck. I guess I'll keep the rare on top to make it look pretty. Looks like an angel on front. Victory's Herald. Let's see if I can just open up this cellophane. So it's definitely a very basic deck for like teaching, I would say, magic or getting a friend into or just a good starter set to see if you're interested in the game with some of the simple mechanics. Again, this is another flying deck. It would be pretty unfair if they had this flying deck versus a not flying deck. The flying deck would probably always uh, win. Got Victory's Herald, three and three white. So pretty much the brother of this card, I would say. This is three and three blue, three and three white. And a very... Yeah, very interesting. Flying, this creature can't be blocked except by creatures with flying or reach. It's an angel. She's got like blue flat fire around her. It looks like uh, some artifact, some torch she's carrying in the sky. I'm not sure. It looks like she has some toilet paper stuck in her from the bathroom earlier. And it's a 4-4 creature. When, uh, whenever Victorious Herald attacks, attacking creatures gain flying and lifelink until end of turn. Lifelink, that's a pretty cool um, mechanic to bring in this. So lifelink is damaged up by those creature. Also causes you to gain that much life. So it's nice to see another mechanic here. The only creature mechanic, other than like draw cards and a little bit of counters, is flying. So it's cool to see another mechanic here. Got one rare. Let's see. I bet it's going to be one rare and two uncommons as well. I'm going to do a quick little sorting. Then we'll go check check out what there is it's interesting how it's kind of the lands are just kind of mixed in I wonder if you're not even supposed to shuffle you're probably not supposed to shuffle 
Is that what it said? Let me just double check. Okay. It says shuffle and play. Interesting why the lands were kind of separated in such a strange manner throughout the deck instead of just having the lands all in the front. Again with the Amonkhet lands, I believe. Or maybe that's Ixlan. I can't... I'm not sure. We'll see. I don't remember these newer set names. Got some uh, Ether Revolt or Kaladish, I believe. And got some Vigilant. Okay, there's some more uh, things in here. So we did get one rare again and two uncommons. I got Sarah Angel. Pretty iconic card in Magic the Gathering. She's got her sword. She means business. Huge uh, wings. Three and two white. Creature Angel flying in Vigilance. Cool to see Vigilance in here. It's a 4-4. Four, four. Attacking doesn't cause this creature to tap. Pretty cool. Uh, let's them know about uh, tapping, I guess, and not having to tap. And we got a Stormfront Pegasus. Looks like he's riding uh, the clouds. It's just a flying uh, Pegasus. And it's a 2-1. Its hooves touch the earth only when a hero must rise. Crazy. Really like feathered looking feet. Anyway, so you got, uh, it's like an angel, angel Pegasus deck. We'll see. Let's see, I got one, two. Let's do the creatures. Lots of instants in this deck. Pretty much, this deck is all about instants. If you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six instants. We got a Mighty Leap. It's one in a white. Target creature gets plus two plus food gains flying until end of turn. Just give a creature flying. We got a Divine Verdict, three and a white. Destroy target attacking or blocking creature. Pretty cool, and definitely gets you used to the instant mechanic. Got an Inspired Charge, two and two white. Creatures you control get plus two, plus one until end of turn. And it's an instant, so you can like flash it out if you're attacking or blocking, kind of get the edge. And impeccable timing, uh, one and a white. Looks like this guy's got a javelin. He got his hands right in like the light of sign, sight of line. Line of sight, there we go. Ugh. Uh, and he's about to spear this poor creature right in the heart. It's impeccable timing, deals three damage to target attacking or blocking creature. Boom. And it's an instant. So all these are instants, which is interesting. The other one had some uh, sorceries and some enchantments. And then we got a few creatures. Let's kind of see what we got. Okay. We got a glory seeker, just a soldier, one in a white for a 2 2 soldier. She's got her shield. She looks like she's uh, from Zendikar or something in the background. Got some weird, like, steps. Maybe she walks all the way up them just to start the walk over again. Pretty cool looking shield. She's got her colors on it. Really detailed work. Really like it. Matt Kovata. Cool work. You got two of those guys or those girls. I got standing troops. Two in a white. They're standing the line. The face tracker's picking up on her. Uh, she's right in the middle there. She's the only one not wearing a helmet, which is kind of silly. I'm not sure if they want her to stand out more because she's a female fighting, but uh, I feel like she should be wearing a helmet if she wants to. And you can see like uh, boulders or something hit there. They're protecting the castle. Two and a white creature, human soldier. It's a one four with vigilance. So small attack, big body, and it's got vigilance. Attacking doesn't cause this to tap. You got two of those. So like uh, something like this would be great for this deck. Kind of flash it in to add to that. Pretty cool. So these are very simple decks, but... Uh, I think it would be quite fun to learn to play these. Uh, next card I got, Bastion Enforcer. Two and a white, creature dwarf soldier. It's just a 3-2 creature, really gilded, crazy looking armor made of gold. Got some like energy, sword, rifle or something. What is he going to hit you with that or shoot you with it? And you got his buddies in the background. And uh, very shiny and gilded. You can see a reflection of some face there. Maybe it's the camera. <laughs> Pretty cool. Anyway, it's just a creature. And then we got... Uh, Dawn Feather Eagle, four and a white creature bird with flying. And as one Dawn Feather Eagle enters the battlefield, the creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and gain vigilance until end of turn. It's a three, three. It'd be cool if this creature had flash, but it doesn't. But when it enters, give all your creatures a little bit of power and some vigilance. Fun. And then we got two graceful cats. Uh, it's a two and a white for just like a sphinx looking cat. Just hanging out in the pyramids. Looks quite big or something. Got the shadow on him. He's got a little bit of a goatee going on. His tail's in the shadow. Really nice shading. He got like some monoliths in the background. And yeah, just staying watch. One of them hairless cats. And it's a 2-2 creature. And when Graceful Cat attacks, it gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. So there is some cool mechanics here that make you get uh, realize like counters. So like when you attack with this, it gets a little bit of strength. When you flash this in, all your creatures get vigilance and a little bit of strength. So it's pretty cool. And you got Vigilance, Flying. So this is very much just like a Flying Vigilance deck with a little bit of pump spells. 
to give him some strength. Anyways, these are pretty good, I think, at learn for like uh, very new players. Definitely not for an advanced player, but if you want to get into the game with a friend and you want to try it, this product would probably be good, and it really doesn't break the bank. You can both put in like $6 and get it. And then uh, it does come with two boosters, so let's go ahead and open it up and see what we get. I got a Sun Crowded Hunters. And you're supposed to be able to take at least five cards or up to five cards from these and put them into the deck. It would be very unfair if one of these got like a mythic uh, blue or white one. Uh, but yeah, that I mean, that's the get the temperature. Or I mean, that's like the, the feel of draft, I'd say. It can be very weighted if depending on what you draw. Four and two red in rage to five four. Once so, sun crowned hunter is dealt damage it deals three damage to target opponent so if you like shock your own creature you can make it do three damage to another opponent or if it gets like blocked and gets hurt go ahead and just uh have a deal damage to the other opponent um really cool raptors they got feathers on it because uh people say dinosaurs used to have feathers on them because they evolved from birds that's what they say now pretty crazy they're all very feathered very beautiful i got a vampire's zeal i like that word zeal one white she's just jumping through the air she's a vampire in daylight in like pirate gear which is pretty crazy the sun isn't affecting her maybe it's the gold or something like that jumping on top of a triceratops it looks like this guy's riding a dinosaur about to get speared in the heart really detailed beautiful work nice uh clouds really nice shading and uh, she means business instant target creature gets plus two plus two on the turn if it's a vampire it gains first strike until on the turn so it's a vampire gets first strike boom I got a uh, human pirate, uh, dead eye tormentor, two in a black. This guy's got his treasure chest there, except it ain't no treasure chest. He's got a man inside of it, reaching his hand out, and he's smiling, saying, "Nope, can't get out today." Got a sword there. He's on a ship. Looks like he's got the captain's hat on, uh, kind of looking like uh, he got the pink light at night. What is it? Uh, sailor's warning. If it's like a pink light at night, I forgot the rhyme. Uh, but anyways, uh, pretty cool art. Got like the rope that they climb up to get to the crow's nest, and uh, it has raid. When Dead Eye Tormentor enters a battlefield, if you attacked with a creature this turn, target opponent discards a card. It's a 2 2. So if you attacked, go ahead and make them discard a card when you cast this. Pretty cool. What does it say? Pink at night, sailor's delight, pink in morning, sailor's warning. I don't remember the name of that little jingle. Sure strike, it's a 1 and a red. Instant, looks like uh, they're on top of a boat she's like riding a dinosaur she's about to get hit in the face with the sword he's kind of pulling away and uh she grabbed the nose of this creature that he thought he had tamed but he doesn't you got like some pyramids in the background looks like they're on some sort of walkway it's an instant target creature gets plus three plus three and gains first strike until no turn boom i know this card it can get you real good i got a river herald's boon cool looking toad in the background Really like it. Crazy looking headdress or like hair on this creature. He's got like a pike. The sword on the back of it. Crazy background. It looks like he's in the rainforest and uh, he's protecting his frogman. One in a green. Instant. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature. And a 1-1 one, one counter on up to one target Mirfolk. So pretty much put this in a Mirfolk deck if you would like. So far we've only had one card that would fit in the deck because it is white. And this one would fit in the blue deck. This is a Prosper... A prosperous pirates they got their booty and they mean business they're carrying their treasure their hard-earned treasure over you got villagers looking on like dang they did pretty good cool art they're like at the dock you can see kind of people scurrying in the background someone's pointing at it saying wow give me a piece four in a blue it's a three four when a prosperous pirate enters the battlefield create two colorless treasure artifact tokens with sacrifices artifact and one man of any color to your mana pool Boom, so it comes in the battlefield, you get two uh, mana sources. I got Paladin of the Bloodstained, three and a white creature, Vampire Knight. Really cool. It's like in the forest or something. You got the vines in the foreground. You got some really crazy lights coming through. And this man handing her her helmet. You got a bird in the up there flying through there. She's got like her pike. She's riding a really gilded horse with like horns on him. And uh, yeah, she's about to get her gear on and go for battle. It's a vampire knight. It's a 3-2. When a paladin of the bloodstain enters the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one white vampire creature token with lifelink. So when she enters the battlefield, you create a 1-1 one, one token with lifelink. Boom. I got a blinding fog. 
two and a white looks like this creature is casting some sort of spell on these people right here controlling their minds and uh, letting them decide for themselves reminds me of the little monster from duress the card looks like they're in some palm trees in the background we got a lot of smoke everywhere and she's controlling this whole group of fools prevent all damage that will be dealt to creatures this turn creatures you control gain hexproof until end of turn so interesting uh Prevent all damage that we dealt to creatures and give them hexproof. Save them from whatever you can. I got a contract killing. Looks like uh, he's making a deal. He's looking around, about to put the money in her hand, and she's going to go get somebody. Uh, kind of really blues in the background, a little bit red here from blue to red. Uh, like uh, he's kind of more forgiving, and she's the one who has the harder hand. And she's going to go get the job done for him. Three and two black. Sorcery, destroy target creature, create two colorless treasure artifact tokens with tap, sacrifice, artifact, add one man of any color to your mana pool. So it's uh, five to cost, five to cast, but you get two uh, mana sources to make any mana you want, and you destroy creature. Interesting. Cool art, too. I got to cancel. Just a simple counter spell. I don't know if I've seen this art. Looks like uh, they plugged the end of this cannon, and they tried to launch it, and it didn't work. <laughs> interesting this crazy looking blue goblin monkey guy and this guy over here we got some blue energy and some white energy and they canceled the spell one and two blue counter target spell ba boom i got a navigator's ruin you got this girl here about to just drop in uh what is that the telescope in the in the water she took the maps and everything about to leave this ship for dead two and a blue really beautiful art uh the waves just going forever uh, enchantment raid at the beginning of your end step if you attack with a creature this turn target opponent puts top four cards of, the, of his or her library into his or her graveyard so i'll make them mill some cards pretty cool be fun in a mill deck i got a chart of course it's got some weird green thing on top of his desk i'm not really sure what that is looks like some energy or just a paperweight he's just checking out the maps trying to figure it out some of them are ripped or not he's got just the light in the background he got a skull on the shelf like any good pirate should have it's one in a blue sorcery draw two cards and discard a card unless you attack with a creature this turn interesting so if you attack with a creature you just draw two cards or two it's pretty fun next card i got is a zoken archer looks like he's got some like feathered uh bow and arrow doesn't even look like he's looking the way he's shooting he's just using his spirit and his mind to send the arrow where he wants tuna green he's got reach a human archer it's a one four when archer enters the battlefield you may have it fight another target creature so when it enters, you might have it deal its one damage to another creature. And uh, the rare I got is Arcane Adaptation. Looks like this guy has got a mad, crazed look in his face. Really detailed work. Wow, really detailed picture. Looks like he's just floating in the water, swimming down. And he's got some weird, like, Mayan necklace on or something. He's just got a crazed look in his eye. Maybe swimming to the bottom just to look for treasure just to go drown i don't know two and a blue enchantment is an arcane adaption enters the battlefield choose a creature type creatures you control are the chosen types in addition to their other types the same is true for creature spells you control and creature cards you own that aren't on the battlefield be cool for like a sliver deck if you want to include other creatures and make them slivers as well fun so that was the rare i got a forest and i got a little plant so this deck would have be for the blue one definitely put that in there I mean, not necessarily, but you definitely could. And the last pack is Legion's Judgment. Two and a white. Crazy looking uh, fighting. Another one of those horses with the, like, the horns on his like, mask. Just piercing a dragon right in his neck. Putting him to the ground. I don't even know how the dragon went in the ground, but it looks like the pegasus or the horse is just flying and stabbing him. Two and a white. Destroy target creature with power four or greater. So any big creature with power four or greater smite them i got a skittering heart stopper imagine this crawling inside your body and just stopping your heart so like there's a dead blue body there got some unkept toenails really nice greens really beautiful art really nice shading nice yellows really mean looking face on a bug i never thought bugs could have emotions or show them but this one definitely looks mean <laughs> one black creature insect it's a one two has black skittering uh heart stopper gains death touch until end of turn you pay one Give it some poison, and we'll use it on your opponent. Boom. You got Fathom Fleet Firebrand. FFF. One in a red. Creature Human Pirate. It's a 2-2. One in a red. Fathom Feet Firebrand. 
gains plus one, plus one until end of turn. So gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. So pay one in red, give it a little bit of strength. She's just, I don't even know, is she falling in the sky? Is she hanging by a rope? I'm not really sure, but it doesn't look like she's standing on the ground. It looks like treetops and she's about to swing. I got a Skyblade of the Legion. One in a white creature vampire soldier with flying. It's a 1-3. And it's just a 1-3 flying vampire. About to get this guy. Looks pretty cool. You got the light hitting this person, the dark hitting this person. Really nice depth going on. Crazy looking uh, mast in the background. Pretty fun. I got a Deep Root Warrior. One in a green. Looks like a very colorful garm on this. Got like some jade armor or something like jade axe. About to crack your skull with it. Is he really tiny? I'm not sure. Is that just like grass miniature? Like on a small scale? Or is that just huge leaves? I'm not sure. Maybe he got shrunk. It's a creature, mere folk. It's a 2 2. When Deep Root Ore becomes blocked, it gets plus 1, plus 1 till end of turn. So if you block it, this thing gets mad. It's got like Bushido 1. I got a Shorekeeper. 1 blue. Looks like just some weird ancient creature turtle mix that's like holding onto some treasure in the background washed up on the shore with this treasure and it's like i'm not i'm not getting out of here oh it's a trilobite that's what it kind of looks like it's a zero three creature and has seven and a blue sacrifice shorekeeper draw three cards so you get it out on turn one on turn eight you can sack it to draw three cards pretty cool it's like a little wall and he's cute next card i got is another contract killing boom Another Blinding Fog. Another Paladin of Bloodstain. So I think I got three cards in a row that were the same as in the last pack, which does happen sometimes. I got a Gilded Sentinel for generic. Got some weird looking creature guy standing there. Multiple faces on. Maybe the faces turn around when he changes emotions. Looks like he's holding on to something. You got people coming up to him saying, can we please pass? And they're like, no, I can't. Uh, artifact Golem, it's a 3-3 creature. The rivered heralds fight to keep all others from reaching the golden city. The city has its own defenses. So it's a defense guy. And uh, some crazy looking robot. You're going to have to fight it. It's funny, it has that like, kind of pale skin. Next card I got. This is a fun card. Some like counter spell abilities. Siren Storm, uh, Storm Tamer. One blue. Got some siren flying in the sky. Nice uh, depth to the picture, nice angle. Got the ship in the background, beautiful sunset. Got rain, it's just flying in the sky. Got our wings, and it's one blue for one one bird. Uh, Siren Pirate Wizard, it's for one one. Siren Pirate Wizard, that's flying. It has blue sacrifice, Siren Storm Mancer. Storm Tamer, counter target spell or ability targets that targets you or a creature you control. So any spell or ability that targets you or a creature you control, you can counter it if you pay blue and sack it. Pretty cool, cool counter spell. I got a fiery uh, cannonade, two and a rid. Looks like uh, you got the ship in the background hitting this other either ship or maybe just like barrier. The ball just hit right here. Looks like it exploded, sending this guy flying in the sky. Really nice reds, really nice uh, oranges and yellows. It's an instant fire cannonade. Deals two damage to each non-pirate creature. Pretty fun. So if you have a pirate deck, go ahead and play it. Because your pirates can outmaneuver the cannonballs, but other creatures cannot. Next card I got, Lurking Chupacabra. Three and a black. Got a crazy looking face. He's hanging out in the bushes. He doesn't really have a nose. It looks like his face is just flush from his eyes to his mouth. Really nice blues in the background leads you to here. Then his eyes. And then he got this, trick in, this twig in the, back, in the foreground. Just really cool art. Really, really like this picture. Y.W. Tang. It's a beast horror. It's a 2-3. Whenever a creature you control explores, target creature and opponent controls, gets negative two, negative two until end of turn. Put this in an explorer deck. Boom. Whenever it explores, give a creature negative two, negative two. Pretty fun. And uh, the rare I got is Settle the Wreckage. Two and two white instant exile all attacking creatures, target player controls. That player may search his or her library for that many basic lands. Put those cards on the battlefield, tap and shovel his or her library. Pretty cool because it exiles the creatures. Even if they're indestructible, they go away. Got all these ships in the background that just looks like they crashed and they're exploded and they're gone. There's nothing left. Pretty cool. You get to exile all attacking creatures. Your creatures are fine unless they're attacking. Then I don't know why you played this card. It's an instant. Exile them. They get to put some lands on the battlefield. But boom, clear the board. Pretty fun. And I got a mountain and a mere folk. So this card, Settle the Wreckage, would be perfect inside of the little white deck. Anyways, just wanted to check out this product with you all.
and uh, just see what it's about, see if it's anything good. I think it's a good product for like new players or someone trying to get into the game. Uh, not really for any veteran players or experienced players. You're not really going to get anything out of these decks if you want these decks for anything. And really, you're better off buying two packs if you don't want these decks at all. But pretty cool product. I wish it came with like two spin down dice or something like that. And to be honest, I don't think I saw the rule book. Oh, wait, I did. And you got the small little quick reference rule book. Interesting. And like I said, it's just kind of like that little cheap one. Just uh, depicting uh, setup, how to win parts of the turn, beginning phase, main phase, combat phase, main phase again, ending phase. Real simple. Doesn't really tell you about like uh, vigilance, uh, flying, anything like that. Which I wish it should because this is specified, like specified towards like a beginning player. I wish it came with a pamphlet just about these decks and the uh, abilities on them. Anyways, still a pretty cool product. Want to check it out. Thank you all for stopping by. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Stay cool out there. It's extremely hot here today. And I'll catch you later.